Hi Stampers! This is Marie Bennett at blackberriesandcream.net and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, cute Christmas card using Stampin' Up! stamp sets, Flurry of Wishes, and Peaceful Wreath. From the Peaceful Wreath set we're going to be using this image and this image. And from the Flurry of Wishes we'll be using these two larger snowflakes and this sentiment sending you a flurry of warm Christmas wishes. I've chosen um, one of the new in colors for this card and it's called Mint Macaron and I'm also using the Mint Macaron lace trim and this wooden uh, snowflake embellishment with a um, what do they call those things? Dazzling? No. Uh, uh, sorry, I'll think of it later. Who knows? Okay. So uh, to make this card, I've used the mint macaron card base, a piece of uh, shimmery white cardstock and a piece of Whisper White cardstock on the inside. I've also used the Watermelon Wonder, also one of the new in color stamps. Or, I'm sorry, inks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this card. To make the card, we need a card base that is um, cut from mint, mint macaron at 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches scored down the middle at four and a quarter and then you would um, fold on the score line and the basic card base is ready. I've already stamped the inside of the card and what I did was I used the mint macaron ink and uh, this image from the peaceful wreath that one right there and I stamped that in the mint macaron stamped the bow from that stamp set in uh, watermelon wonder and I have daubed the edge of this paper uh, with a sponge dauber using the mint macaron ink and now I'm ready to uh, adhere this to the card this is cut at four and a quarter by five no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to be using this Tombow glue to adhere this to the inside of the card. Just a small bead all the way around, a little jiggle down the middle. And then place it in your card, leaving about an eighth of an inch border on all sides. All right, so the inside of the card is done. And now we're going to create this this layer right here using the shimmery white cardstock. And so I need a piece that is cut at four inches. by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to uh, use just the mint macaron ink and the two uh, snowflake stamps. This one and where's the other one? And this one. And for stamping, I, I'm going to be doing some stamping off. And so I have my messy paper here to use. And under the messy paper, I have a piece of um, craft foam. Because these photopolymer stamps need a little bit of a soft uh, a surface so that you can get a better image. All right, so I'm going to do the big one first. Where is my ink? Boy, 
you know, for once my table's clean and I can't find anything. Weird. Okay, so there's the mint macaron ink. And I'm going to ink up this stamp. Um, and give a full strength impression right here. Then ink it up again. There's no uh, rules about where these images have to go. Just put it wherever it feels to you like it looks good. Alright, so that's my three uh, full strength images. Now I'm going to do a couple with this smaller snowflake. Like maybe one right here. Oops. <coughs> Another one up there. And the rest of the images are going to be uh, what we call stamped off. So I'll do a couple with this bigger snowflake. Stamp off and then stamp on. And all I'm doing is making a um, softer image which kind of brings these darker ones to the front. So it gives your card just a little bit of dimension. Okay, now I have a few spaces that are uh, still just plain white, and I want—I really want there to be some kind of a snowflake image all over the card. So I'm just going to fill in those spaces there. Now my handmade designer series background <laughs> is complete. So I'll put my ink away and we'll get started with the next step. Okay, when I look at my model I see that the next thing I need to do is put the ribbon on. And uh, I'm using this, it's called um, can't see the English version. <laughs> Dotted lace trim. And I just wanted a tiny bit wider than my uh, shimmery white cardstock. So I'm just going to cut it right there. And then I'll apply some snail adhesive on the back. that, decide where I want my ribbon to be. I can I can feel where the the glue is on the back or the tape so I'll just roll it around. Okay. Now I want it to stay put so I'm going to put just a little bit of scotch tape right over the top of that on both sides just to hold it in place. Okay. Okay, so for the the next part of this, I just took a small piece, probably I'm gonna say five and a half inches. I can measure here five and a half. This ribbon is very soft and pliable. And then I'm just going to tie a knot. And when I'm finished, I want the, the rounded edges of this. If you look at the, the ribbon, the top is flat and the bottom is rounded. I want the rounded edges of my bow to be facing the bottom. So before I pull the knot tight, I'll make sure that um, the ribbon is positioned the way I want it to be. There we go. Okay. Now, yeah, I may have pulled that a little too tight. I don't know. Let's see if I can open it up a little bit. It's too, uh, 
too wide for the way I like it so I'm just going to trim the edge off over here and then I'm going to want this one trimmed off about the same amount there okay so now we're going to work on the the sentiment and this is made using the lots of labels thinlets and I used the third size and the fourth size and I used the sentiment send you a flurry of warm Christmas wishes I just stamped that on a piece of I stamped it on a piece of scratch paper someplace I gotta find it I'll be right back okay so I'm gonna take this over to the big shot and I'm going to uh, cut this sentiment out using the smaller of the two and then I'll cut out a piece of mint macaron with this larger piece and I'll be right back okay I'm going to adhere this uh, the white whisper white cardstock to the mint macaron using some Tombow glue this takes a little tiny bit you don't have to put a big gobby bunch on there and I want to get it centered on there pretty well like that then on the back of this I'm going to put four dimensionals Oops, I'm not ready to put that on there yet. Okay. So the next step is to uh, adhere this layer to the card. And I'm going to use the Tombow glue for that too. and then stick this on there kind of want this uh, pretty much centered in the space above the ribbon remembering that I'm going to be putting on that wooden snowflake element so I want to leave a little extra room toward the top alright now when I was getting the snowflake element ready what I did was I filled this center piece right here that hole with Tombow glue and I, I let it dry until it you know it starts to get a little bit clear it it remains tacky Tombow glue uh, stays sticky so now I've got almost like a homemade glue dot on the back of this where the where the Tombow glue ran under the snowflake but I'm gonna give it just a tiny bit more you know how we Americans are if a little bits good a lot's a lot better okay and then I want this to where I can read my greeting but oops <laughs> stuck to my finger I can read my greeting um, but the snowflake is still actually pretty much on the label just like that now in the center I'm going to give it just a little tiny bit of moist glue Come on. not that tiny there we go and I'm going to stick a what do they call it? rhinestone Ooh, a rhinestone jewel on there using my paper piercer okay and I want to use the largest of the sizes of these rhinestone jewels and stick it right in the center there it's a little bit it's got a sticky surface on the back of it and then along with this Tombow glue uh, it sticks quite well and that's the whole card right there very pretty hope you'll give that a try thanks for watching and for your Stampin' Up! supplies 
uh, go to the link below this video and that'll take you right to my online store. So, happy stamping everybody. Bye. <laughs>